Right, guys, and in the kitchen, there's a long tube light I've got, right? I'm going to try and demonstrate in another way to make it easier for people that couldn't understand that model I made about six years ago. could be pushing seven now. Um, how the southern stars rotate uh, by reflection. Right, so I've got this mirror. I'll hold it backwards so we don't get any reflection on it just to show you something. I'm going to go around with it like that, and I'm going to try and keep the tube light reflection in the mirror as we go around so you can see how it rotates, right? So as I go around the circle and I'm holding that mirror there, the mirror's following me, but you can sort of say, say like, that is a, um, a portion of the dome. There's not a side here, there's not a side there, and there's not a side there. It's circular. So every time you move... The reflection's following you. <laughs> Infinitely. The end of the smallest atom. Not even incrementally. So I'll turn the mirror around now. Alright, so it's that way, alright? We're going to try and get that in the reflection. It's very hard, I tell you, trying to hold the mirror in the phone and getting all the angles right because things are opposite in reflections. Right, so now as I move around... See? I'll go the other way, because I'm in the Southern Hemisphere and I want it to go clockwise. Because I've got OCD. <laughs> right, so... See what's going clockwise? So that light, um, to my actual perspective, would be going um, anti-clockwise. Right, so... See the angle it's at now? All right, because there, all right, I'm going to go around to here, that'll be 90 degrees, right? Watch. All right, so I'm there, and I'll show you the desktop that I'm making. All right, so as I spin around, all right, to here, all right, from there to there. I'll go against my OCD, and we'll go 90 degrees back from there to there. I'll try and keep the desktop in so you can see the light and everything in the background. All right. So just say that mirrors a portion of the dome because it's following your hand. Well, I hope that makes sense. That's all I'm doing for the moment. Okay, I just said in that clip um, that the, uh, the real light, it'll be going anti-clockwise while the one in the reflection is going clockwise so just to try and show that to you here we go we're going this way we're getting that going clockwise why does the phone want to do it differently it looks like the light's really bright anyway reflection there comes the cupboards see the cupboards so we're still going that way we're going to try to get up the light so you can see that is going anti-clockwise Come back down. So, right, here we go. There's the light going clockwise. So, again, I hope that makes sense. Right, I just one more to be quick. Right, cupboards, light, desktop I'm making, light. Right, cupboards. Light, right? Desktop, light, light in the reflection vertical, light in the reflection horizontal, vertical, horizontal. Well, we know in reality it's actually the stars that move, but I can't move me light in the kitchen, can I? So I had to sort of come up with that little idea and move myself around. But uh, just because the light was long, I thought it might be able to give people the visual more of what the model actually did because I think it was a lot of people that weren't getting what I did, what I did there on that one.
Man, I put the camera inside there and everything. Had lights up the top, reflecting off the side. So anyway, uh, hopefully this tube light demonstration sort of um, drums it in a little bit better to uh, people that aren't understanding it. There are flat earthers who don't really get what no fanfare is showing. There are flat earthers that do. They will look and go, whoa, okay, I get it. I see what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. All right. I'll try and leave some cards up at the end of this video to these ones. I'm, I'm not even sure. I've only just started doing cards, actually, so I don't know how many you can have at the end of a video. If you can conceptualise yourself on a giant record player turntable with a giant reflective dome over it, that tube light in the top centre, as you spin clockwise, that uh, tube light reflection is going to go anti-clockwise. Now, when you stop and the stars are spinning, so the stars in the north go anti-clockwise, so as they're spinning anti-clockwise, your reflection then is going to go clockwise. Okay, I've um, made a little uh, animated 3D model here to um, try and drive it home a little bit better. Uh, I've got two observers. I've got one facing south in Australia and one facing south in Africa. And uh, you'll notice here that, well, I've got those rods. The, they're representing the light that I've done in the kitchen experiment. And uh, you'll notice that they are in different positions uh, due to the reflection. Now, the one at the top, that would be your, um, your stars, uh, the centre stars. And the bits on the side of their, their part of their dome that they are looking at. And that's where they are receiving their reflection from. Plus, I was able, with this 3D model, to... Uh, add their own little personal atmospheric domes as well. So you'll notice there, um, how will I say it? Uh, the big reflection and the little reflection, the um, big reflections off the big dome, and then uh, where they see it is uh, on their own personal atmospheric dome. Okay, we'll just zoom in and around on that to get a close-up from the other side. Okay, as we can see here from this point of view, we've got the centre stars in the big dome. They're going anti-clockwise. And from each of those observers inside their own little atmospheric dome, the reflection that they are seeing is going clockwise. Like I said in the video I made near seven years ago, it'll be seven years old, that video, on the 24th of April 2025. So like I said in that... Uh, we're not talking about times or time zones or anything. We're talking about a moment. So if I was in Australia and I rung up someone in Africa and asked them what the stars were doing right now, that'd be the moment. So um, we'll have a quick look at some stills here and uh, fluctuate between them and see you'll get what I'm saying there. How's it going? Good, mate. Good, yeah. Yourself? Oh, great, mate. Can't complain. So you ready for this observation? Mate, I was born ready. Cool. Uh, she's vertical here for me. How is she for you? Mate, she's horizontal. Cool. All right. If you give her another six, she should roll over into another position for you. We still talking about the observation here? Of course we are, you clown. What else? In another six hours, she should have rotated 90 degrees for you and you'll be seeing her vertical. Over here, in another six hours, she'll be back to horizontal for me. Alrighty then. Later.
Alright, thanks for watching.